Snake Pass! Press A. Hi, I'm Matt. Are you going to introduce yourself? No, you're just going to stay silent. This is an audio thing, you have to talk. You have to talk. I wish you have to talk. Irish. Irish, please say something. Alright, Irish is a snake and he's not talking for some reason. Are you seriously doing this? Are you seriously doing this? Alright, fine, I'll talk for this thing. Alright, so this is Snake Pass. And I wanted to play this because we went to Play Expo in Manchester 2016. Which turned out to be a pretty disastrous uh, experience. But, we... Uh, the only, like, game that we actually got to talk to anybody about was this one, Snake Pass. And I wanted to play this because it looks cute and cartoony. And the guys there were super cool. And they're called Sumo, and they had a guy who was dressed as a Sumo wrestler at their thing. Alright, so you have to slither left and right to pick up speed. If you keep going, if you keep going straight, you know, you know, you know. There we go. Got a wiggle. You gotta wiggle. So this is a game with snake physics. So, for the past three years we've gone to play Expo. I think Amish has only come with me for two of them. Uh, he will probably confirm that, but he's, uh, for some reason, decided not to talk right now. He's the one playing the game. But, we always go, we always talk to the indie devs, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this time though, there was like, very few actual devs there, or like, any new games. So we didn't get to talk to as many people. And unfortunately, we lost all our footage. I still cannot find that SD card that had all of our footage on it. And it makes me sad because we met a lot of cool people. Do a lot of cosplay. I need to find out the guy I bought my sword from. I bought a Genji sword there. It's hanging on my wall. It looks right as shit. Except for a part where it's cracked. That's because I didn't... This actually happened the first day that I brought this thing back. Nobody gets the crash it, it's just that I was an idiot and didn't secure this thing to the wall properly. So I woke up, found this on the floor and in two pieces. But I glued it back together. But he was a super cool guy, and I talked to him, and he was super cool. I think the weirdest thing was that when we were there, we wanted to record a How to Fail, which was going to be a tournament, playing on different games. But I'm not sure how, but during, after we started the video, until we ended... At some point along the way, Amish lost his voice. So we stopped talking. Don't nod! They can't see you nodding! So, like, he stopped talking. It's like, alright, I guess he just doesn't want to talk on camera. Okay, well, I'll do all the talking and Amish can just do, like, physical stuff. And I could see he was getting noticeably more and more annoyed. And I didn't get it. Because he wouldn't tell me anything, and I didn't know why. You only got one coin, idiot. You have to go back. Uh, for the record, I won that tournament. Uh, I think it all came down to Halo, didn't it? Not sure. We had kind of an annoying part where we wanted to play Blaze Blue, but it turned out that they only had one controller. And there was a second controller. It was one that the guy had brought himself for some reason. Alright, you can't see us, but I was just like physically angry because he can't get this stupid coin. But for some reason, he's not talking to me. Snakes don't talk. I'm not a snake anymore, so I can't talk. Wait, that was why you were doing that! Yeah. I was being a snake. Crash didn't talk either! He, he went past the coin. You the coin I've been trying to get for the past half an hour? We got it! <laughs> and now we lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna achieve oh, left and right it. for this. <laughs> <gasps> Punish snake! That's a reference to my favorite game. So do you have any fun memories of that convention? That we totally went to, but we lost the footage for. We never went to no convention. Yeah, we did. Play Expo 2016. No, we didn't. You lost your voice. You discovered Blaze Blue for the first time. We saw a Frostmon and you were pissed because it didn't look like your Frostmon. I had to talk you out of buying more swords. I'm just making stuff up now, man. Shame I can't find these business cards. <laughs> <laughs> this is tricky. I like it though. It kind of feels like this is doing what ukulele didn't. Be a snake. Yes, but also, like, 
Oh, but this feels like it's kind of taken that collector fun yeah. kind of idea and putting a new spin on it. Oh, then you slither on it. No, I'm not saying that because that's fucking stupid. But ukulele felt like very retro, but didn't really do anything new. Fuck it. You want to try again? That coin is mine. I mean, I got closer than you. I almost had it. You gonna stop talking now? Say yes. That's gonna be the thing. Just angrily waving your hand now rather than talking to me. That is to say that. That camera angle's stupid! Why don't you change it? You have a right stick. Because sometimes the head goes left when you press left, and sometimes it goes right when you press left. He <laughs> just choked. Right, you gotta try and wrap around that log now. Oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. You piece uh, of crap, mother. <laughs> I hate snakes. Snakes are stupid. I love snakes. Snakes are cool. That snake's stupid. Snake. Can we get a bandana for him? An eye patch. Yeah, bandana and eye patch for the snake. Use the grip button to hold on tight. It's a grip button. Well, that would make things a lot easier. <laughs> so I'm thinking like maybe he's a bow constrictor. So maybe we finally do get to eat things, and it is a uh, small jungle children that wander near our tree, and we get to sing to the child, and then we eat them. Yeah, what type of DLC do you think we should have for this? Because I'm thinking we should have a level where you have to fight John Voight and his killer legs. Oh, when we go on holiday, you got to fight um, Samuel Jackson. Yeah, yeah, right, trying to fight him on the plane. Because there definitely seems to needs there needs to be more combat in this. Maybe we can like find Owen Wilson and grab him and eat him in the water. You ever heard of the Anaconda films? Ever heard the one with David Hasselhoff? Yeah, he's working for Gimli and trying to get the secret of immortality, which is how snakes get big. What? Unfortunately, what? he <laughs> isn't in the fourth Anaconda film in which the snake regenerates. Like, the snake gets blown up and it regrows its own body. Of course, it also has a spear tail and acid spit. Oh no! The snake has all the keystones missing! We need to find all three keystones! What? <laughs> so I didn't like, put myself there. I wasn't listening, I just wanted to take a tumble off the other side of this cliff. A bird can help with why. Oh, cool. <laughs> Press Y again, or it's let go. I'll do it. Let's fly. <laughs> this stick's gonna fly. <laughs> it could be like in Robin Hood where he spins his tail like a helicopter. So many great snakes in films we can talk about. John Voight, Carr, Scarlett Johansson, Sir Hiss, the one that went on a plane. <laughs> there's a snake in ukulele as well. I wonder if that's related to this one. That snake wears pants. Because he's a godless heathen who won't accept what he is. Maybe a bird lifted you, gave you a lift, that'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Is that burp, or was he just suddenly terrified of the height? You know, we seem to be oddly cooperative with this bird. I think it might have some ulterior motive. Like, it makes us get all these keystones, and it turns out it's the ritual to summon its god. Who's this here a bit? I have left the rest of the level. There okay. Go get those coins, Jeff. And now, my birdie friend, we fly. Fly! <laughs> <laughs> well, then. So, why we get to the end, is it? It's back in the stones. Now the Humming King can come back and rule forever. And then that's the final boss. You have to use all the orbs you got at this point to wrap yourself around the Humming King before he consumes the world. Seriously, this game needs more children eating. Child eating DLC. Like the, the Hummingbird is able to put things back in its place, but only after we touch it. Maybe that's part of the curse. Excellent. The world will consume all flumps in no time. Don't die. Fuck you, bird! <laughs> Fuck you, bird! I like this one! <laughs> <laughs> gotta get all the stuff again now. 
Lots of flow in the game. <laughs> well, the tutorial's over, it'll be fine. Jokes on you, bird. Now we can't never summon your blood god in time. Why will the like stone the hand and turn us to blood of orphans? And it's taken Harry Potter. The mother battles. Oh, yeah. What was her name again? Neri Kiri. <laughs> Coolie Fooly. Uh, Erochimaru. <coughs> he was a snake man. Mm. Uh, Voldemort was a snake man. Name more famous snakes. Donald Trump. <laughs> 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 it's funny Cameron. because he's a monster. David Cameron. I don't really thought of him as much as a snake. I kind of thought of him more as the Basil Fawlty of politics. Cameron? Yeah. Really? Yeah, like, he kept trying to do things and it just kept <laughs> fucking up. And then every attempt that he made to fix it just put himself more and more on the shit. Oh, Irish, help me. Irish, help me. Irish, help me. It's just the grass, man. I think my head is stuck. <laughs> How to snake 101. It's not. Can I do a kill yourself button? Lower last checkpoint button. <sighs> Retry, maybe? All progress. No. <laughs> Connect, what? Get us out of here! Greatest game ever. Stick in a bush. Well, they probably weren't expecting somebody to be an idiot. Come on. We got it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's fall over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from the corner, man. Stay away. Out of the corner! <laughs> I'm going to celebrate in the corner. Would Gini Chimaro count as a snake, or is he supposed to be more like a fox? Who? Gini Chimaro from Black. You know the guy who has squinty eyes and goes, my, my. Is he a fox? Why do he be a fox? I think that's all he's based on. He's like a sly fox. I thought he was a snake. We'll go with snake. The one from Resident Evil 1. Oh, yeah, there's a snake in that. Yeah. We should play that. It's a weapon. It's really powerful. Especially against living things. Ekans. Ekans. He's Survivor. a snack. Survivor. Uh, Charbuck. Survivor, no surviving. <laughs> Bird, catch your tail! <laughs> he just let me fall! Now you die. Oh. My, my. My, my. We know a lot about snakes. They're usually the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> Except for this one. He might be. He's pretty chill. Yeah, all the snakes we mentioned are all bad guys. We need to find more good snakes. <gasps> Jake the Snake Roberts from the Wrestling. <gasps> He's not an actual snake. He had a snake. Hmm. Was the snake a good guy? Or was it the guy a heel? He, he used to attack people with it. <laughs> Well then. Snake in a bag. Attack! Now we don't know. We, that's why we don't see Jake the Snake Rabbit no more. He threw live animals at his competitors. Well, this isn't Snake. He's was living around the ground. Then suddenly Snake's fork comes out the sky and just goes, Step! Alright, you know what? I'm questioning whether or not there's content for us to keep playing Snake Pass. But on the other hand, I kind of want to keep playing it because it's so laid back. Can we just turn this into like a chilled out podcast type thing? Yeah. So we're definitely going to keep playing this one. I guess the snake from ukulele is kind of a good guy. I mean, he's a guy who's like selling your special moves, but he's well, it's a salesman, but still. Still on your side. For the most part, he also sells special moves to the bad guys. Alright, so we have... A snake from Snake. Does he have any alliance? He's against the pellet things he eats. And then it's just food. Wait, what if it's canon that the snake from Snake Pass is also... Snake. The snake. Yes. Okay, so the only good snake we have so far is... So was Jake the snake snake-like? He had a snake. But it was not a snake-like person. No. He just had the name Snake. There was another vessel called Santino Morella. His version moved with the Cobra. 
But was he a snake-like person? Did he hiss? When he put the sock on his hand, he did. <laughs> was that mankind? He ripped it off and put a cobra. <laughs> like a green sock with a snake tongue on it. No. Called the cobra. He chopped people on the throat with it. So it was... This other guy making fun of mankind? Yeah. Mr. Socko, that was yeah. it. Before that, I called the Amenable Claw. I like Mr. Sacco better. So that's more marketable. You can buy them. Buy Mr. Sacco? Yeah. I could also buy my own sock. Or have my own sock. And say that that's my sidekick. <laughs> what would they call? Frank. <laughs> Frank the Sock. He doesn't need to impress you with his name, he just needs to be frank. <laughs> no, he'd be frank about it. <laughs> <laughs> you sneaky boy. Oh, just a coin. Bye. I don't know, I feel like saying it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. Alright, so that was Snake Pass. What do you think? I like it. I love it. Super chilled. Laid back. We're definitely going to play more of this. Next time on How to Fell, what else will we talk about? Maybe we'll find some good snakes. Or maybe more evil ones. <gasps> Fantastic! Oh my god, this game's the best thing ever. The puns. Mm.